Some investigators say that they don't believe that there's anyone else that they're looking for. Norman police think they have their woman. They say she is responsible for five racist vandalism incidents across the metro. 45-year-old Allison Johnson is from the Norman area. As investigators wrap up the case, victims of the racist attacks try to move forward. Our News Tonight's Bonnie Campo joins us live in Norman with the story. Bonnie? Well, Allison Johnson's locked up here in Cleveland County on a complaint of terroristic threatening in connection with that graffiti. Tonight, we're hearing from one of her alleged victims. There's a lot of brutality, you know, in the what the the imagery that was there. The the it's graphic and harsh. Wednesday morning, Richard McCown discovered his sculpture had been covered in hate speech in Norman. It wasn't the only target in the city. We have some vandalism, some spray painted words on our sidewalk. McKinley Elementary was also hit. So was the Cleveland County Democratic headquarters. Some swastikas and some um, denigrating language. One week ago, the Oklahoma County Democratic Headquarters and Chickasaw Nation office were also targeted. While most of the racist slurs were washed away, Richard's sculpture was branded by hate. And that's a sculpture of my oldest daughter, Olivia. The piece has been there for 11 years. And tonight, Richard and all the other victims in the Metro know who's responsible. This afternoon, Allison Johnson turned herself in to Norman police. That we believe she's the sole individual that's responsible uh, for the three incidents here in Norman and also the incidents in Oklahoma City. OCPD, Norman officers, and the FBI worked with various communities to catch the suspect on surveillance. Those hazy images now have turned into Johnson's mugshot. Public sharing this message and getting this information out there, um, that there was some pressure on this individual to come forward and accept responsibility for the actions. Johnson remains in jail without bond. Teams will be out in Norman trying to clean up that sculpture this weekend. Bonnie Campo, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.